Uh, another tough day in the office against a much more experienced side. Um, do you regret batting first? No, I think the wicket was, uh, I mean, it, it wasn't the best compared to other days, but still it was decent enough. I, I just don't think we batted good in, well enough. Uh, 30 for 5, I think uh, we still managed to get 150 on board. So if we had batted better, definitely, I mean, putting runs on board and the wicket turning in the second innings, uh, we just wanted to get that advantage. And maybe another 30, 50 runs, uh, things would have been different. But on the hindsight, well, we need to bat better than what we did today. You were resilient with wickets falling around you throughout the innings and you were the outstanding batsman in the innings. What did you say to the gentlemen at the break before they came out to field in the afternoon with such a low total? We knew the wicket would break, so we just wanted to be as consistent as much as possible. Uh, early wickets was the key, uh, but for them, I think Kyle uh, held the innings together, so that was very important. Had we managed to get him out, maybe we could have you know, scraped through. But still, I think low-scoring matches, you need to take uh, all those half chances, and you need things need to work in your favor, unfortunately. Uh, he held up on innings, and we tried our best with our rotating our bowlers from one end and the other. The spinners bowled very, very well today. Just that didn't, just didn't have enough runs on board. Interesting, you mentioned the spinners. That was my next point. They did bowl really well. And um, you did get wickets quite frequently. But uh, as you say, Kyle was the one man that you felt if you had got him out, then you would have had an opportunity to win this game. Yeah, uh, definitely. I think he batted very well uh, to get like 80 odd runs from 150. So he just held up one innings and people started rooting from the other. And we just had to get him out uh, in the latter stages. But still, having said that, uh, uh, Moving forward, need to put up a better batting performance. It's as simple as that. Great. I was keeping sorry for the loss, but then I wanted to just ask, um, did at some point did you guys feel that you could actually defend uh, 150 as the wickets were falling? Because I saw you guys were pretty pumped up. Yeah, yeah I think uh, the way they were shaping up, uh, we just knew that if we kept on pushing, uh, maybe we could you know, get that breakthrough and then maybe a run out here there could have changed the course of the game, but still we just didn't get that opportunity. But uh, we pushed ourselves, I think, as a fielding unit, as a bowling unit, uh, we tried everything that was possible, uh, just that uh, couldn't get more than six wickets. Great. Um, now it's two losses in a row. Uh, do you guys feel under pressure for the next two games that you guys will be playing? Uh, as your next game is against Afghanistan and the other one will be Hong Kong. Are you, do you guys feel under pressure that at least you need to come uh, out of this uh, group stages with a couple of wins? I think it's, it's still open for us. I think moving into the last two games, uh, I think looking at the results of the today's game, uh, if we manage to do well in the two games and win both the matches, we still have that chance of making it through. So we'll have to take it one game at a time first, playing against Afghanistan. Uh, they're going through a rough tournament as well. So I think for both the teams, it's a win-win situation where they have to go out for that outright win. So for us, uh, we'll push everything that we have to get that win and get those points on board. Looking at your batting, are you disappointed with the ways that you guys batted looking that against Zimbabwe, you guys went over the 250 mark quite, quite well. It was very impressive. Uh, we just didn't bat. It's, I mean, we should have adapted better. And that's the first time you've played at this level, but you certainly haven't looked out of your depth. We talk about your batting performance against Zimbabwe, your bowling performance today. You get six wickets down with 150 on the board. Uh, what is the secret that, uh, that you have in the change room to keep the guys going, to keep the guys energetic and always believing that there's an opportunity? For us, uh, we push ourselves to the last ball. I mean, it's, it's a game where you need to fight till the end. And as a team, I think we have fantastic team spirit. I think we've worked very, very hard to be here. Uh, we just need to get those both batting, bowling and feeling department all together. So if we get all three things going, I'm sure we'll be able to produce the result that we want. And I just hope it happens on the next day when we play Afghanistan. And finally, uh, news of a little niggle with Basant. Will he be okay for the next game? Yeah, he should be fine. Thanks. All right, Paris, thanks a lot. All Cheers.